these loaded veggie patties. So they are absolutely chock-a-block full of all of my favorite vegetables. And today I'm gonna to make them bunless, but you can definitely play around with this recipe and make it your own. So follow me and I'll show you now. My trusty food processor here, this has become like my best friend in the kitchen. I don't know what I did before I had this. So I'm just going to add in our ingredients and then we will blitz her up. So firstly, I've just got some broccoli going in. And red capsicum. Three stalks of spring onion. One whole chili. A big bunch of coriander. You can leave this out if you are a coriander hater. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove the lid. And you can see how beautiful and fine that mixture has become. It actually smells amazing as well. So next we're just going to go in with some garlic. I've got about three cloves here. I really do love my garlic. Here I've got two teaspoons of garlic powder, some salt, white pepper, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, and one teaspoon of the hot chili powder. Just goes all in and you can play it with the spices as well you don't have to use these or you can make an Indian inspired veggie patty with some garam masala some coriander seed that would work really well as well crack in two eggs Got some frozen peas here that I'm going to throw in. Just one can of corn that I've just drained from the can. And I've just quartered a lime and I'm just going to add two quarters of this in. That'll give it a beautiful freshness. And I've just got some whole egg mayonnaise going in. So that's about a tablespoon and a half. And we're just going to combine those ingredients in before we add the breadcrumbs. And you just want to use like a pulsing action. So you just go blitz, stop, blitz, stop. We're just about combining those ingredients right now. And because the mixture is quite a wet mixture from all of the vegetables, we're going to add in some breadcrumbs. So just add that in. So I'll just start off with half a cup and then I'll just see how I go. If I feel like it needs a little bit extra, then I can put some more in. patties so I've just drizzled a little bit of olive oil in my pan and I'm just gonna swirl that around make sure the pan is fully coated turn the heat on We've got our patties so just gonna put those in 